Hi, I am Monica. Hi, I'm Adam, and this is our dog Meshek. In this video, we would like to present to you guys our custom-made camper van, which has been converted by us. It's been so much work getting it to that stage, but it was definitely worth it. We've spent over a year converting it, as we did it part-time, and built everything ourselves. So everything you see here, we did ourselves. This is a 2004 Volkswagen Transporter short wheel base. Under the bonnet there is a 1.9 turbo diesel engine with 105 brake horsepower. As some of you probably know, it's really reliable engine. We choose the Volkswagen Transporter as it can also be used as a daily car. In fact, it's not much larger than a standard passenger car, so there is no problem with parking and squeezing through narrow streets. To many, from outside it doesn't look like a typical camper, so even if we park somewhere overnight, most people don't know we're inside. When we bought the van, it was a six-seater. It had a second row of seats, as in a photo. This has been removed along with other stuff. Basically, we've stripped the whole interior to insulate the van from inside. We've used a bituminous lining as well as insulation foam. On the floor we have an ordinary vinyl. Underneath there is a ply wood board. All the furniture you can see here been made by us, including this removable table and rock and roll bed. As I've mentioned, this table can quickly be removed. Just undo the brackets All the parts for the table like uh, this foldable leg, brackets, rail and as well as the edge lining We got it off eBay Behind the driver's seat there is a designated space for the table with a safety strap to make sure the table won't move while driving in this place we've installed a 40 liter fridge there is no freezer in it but it's not a big problem we can manage without it it's not necessary in our case Above the fridge we have a drawer, mainly for cutlery, but not only as you can see, there are other items here. Those latches are really good, as they prevent 
drawer and cabinet doors from opening while driving. They've also been purchased on eBay. Here we have a sink which is made out of a stainless food container. Usually you can find them in canteens and buffets. Uh, why we've decided to do it that way? Mainly because our worktop is small so we needed a tiny and compact sink which was really hard to find, especially in a reasonable price. In a corner, there is a water tap. We have a running water. It's along with a micro switch connected to the electric pump. The pump is located in a clean water tank. We only have a cold water. Below, we have a storage cabinet where you can also find a 25 liter clean water tank. As I've mentioned before, the pump is in the tank. Next to the tank, there is a drain pipe from the sink to the waste tank, also known as a grey water. We have installed a 30 liter grey water tank with a drain valve under the van. Over here is our control panel which has switches for lights, water pump, fridge and there is a switch that turns off and on entire panel. We also have a voltage display, battery voltage display, as well as two USB charging ports plus 112 volts socket. Now one of the most important component in our camper van. The seat I'm sitting on also turns to a bed. If I just unlock and pull it towards me. And now we have a bed. Two adults can sleep here comfortably. These mattresses are really comfortable. They've been made to order and fit perfectly. Culvers can easily be removed if they need to be washed. Here we have our wardrobe where we keep clothes, electronics, toiletries. It's really spacious. On top there is extra storage where we keep bags and other small items. Even now, when the bed is unfolded, there is still plenty of room on the floor for our dog and his bed. There is also access to the fridge. To transform bed back into the seat, we just need to Pull it and push it. 
as well as lock it just to make sure it won't open under the seat there is storage space where we keep backpack for our dog along with his swimming vest raincoat we also keep here the stove and there is a bag in this bag we keep chairs camping chairs as well as sunscreens for the front windows and the camping table all in one bag and the bag is normally under the bed the seat bed the bag is from IKEA it's been slightly modified over my head we have a storage net we keep here our mountain bikes helmets and other light items on the ceiling there are three LED lights there is also a skylight here it can be open to provide additional ventilation it's equipped with a insect net we also have a smoke detector here for cooking we use this two burner portable stove it's powered by small butane gas canister you can buy them in many places we can use this stove indoor and outdoor which is really convenient opposite rock and roll bed there is a additional sitting space so we can sit opposite each other inside there is a storage where we keep coffee coffee maker our mugs olive oil food washing liquid cups and all other stuff it's really useful it's not permanently fixed you can remove it it's got the magnetic brackets so when we're driving it won't move we have sliding blackout curtains they give us element of privacy as well as acting as a sunscreens during hot days in this place we've installed a roller blind which we use as a projector screen also when it's down you can't see from the outside what is going on back here in terms of electricity there is a second battery under the driver's seat also known as a leisure battery along with a split charge that allows both batteries to be charged while the engine is running when the engine is off all the devices such as the water pump fridge charging ports are powered by the leisure battery only without draining the main battery in the near future we plan to install 
uh, solar panels on the roof which will provide us with additional power as we are going to Scandinavia next month we will install a stationary heating in our camper van before we leave so that we won't be cold on cold nights a video about the installation of stationary heating in our camper van and videos from our trip to Scandinavia will be available on our channel here there is a 100 watt inverter it transforms power from 12 volts to 230 volts Our van has a barn doors at the back. These transporters are also available with a tailgate, as in a photo. But we've decided that barn doors would be more useful in our case. On the back door, we have a bike rack mounted. Separate video about this bike rack is available on our channel. Behind the door, In this place we have our duvet along with the pillows, it's attached with the net. Under there is a toolbox which is always useful. Here normally we keep our food. There are hooks for towels and jackets. Below we have another storage where we got brush, owning equipment, what else, water hose, uh, extension lid, gas canisters, foldable bucket and other items which we normally need when we travel on that side of the van behind the flap there is a clean water filler cup here we top up our clean water On the other side, where the sliding doors are, we have a Fiamma awning. More about this awning and how it's attached, you can find in a separate video on our channel. Van life is not just a way of traveling, it's a way of living, thinking and perceiving the world. Camper van gives you a freedom and independence. You can stop wherever and whenever you want, change the views outside the window as you like, which is really incredible. So that's it for today's video, thanks for watching, if you like this video be sure to leave the thumb up and subscribe as more videos will be coming soon. Also guys if you have any comments, thoughts or questions please leave them in a section below. See you! See you.